and welcome to our next video where we discuss about kelle hermitton theorem next step or further relation of matrix algebra you saw my video how to find out the rank of matrix how to solve the simultaneous linear equations with the help of matrix next one is the eigen value eigen vector how to find out and last is the kelle hermitton theorem what is the statement of this kelle hermitton theorem this states that every square matrix satisfy its own characteristics equation you remember what is characteristic equation characteristic equation when we find out eigen value and eigen vector when we determine p minus lambda i equal to 0 determinant of a minus d lambda d lambda means determinant of this lambda i minus a this equal to 0 that is its characteristic equation means this is characteristic equation is satisfy this its matrix that every place this lambda replace with a means when we lambda replace with a then also this satisfy the given equation so that is the statement of kelle hermitton theorem now i show the proof of this theorem then we go further for some example because with the help of this theorem we have to find out the inverse of any function and square cubic and uh, very higher order multiplication with the help of this we can easily take so first proof of this theorem if this is our first equation or we can say this is characteristic equation of any given matrix a of n cross n there we always discuss about the square matrix n cross n order so now we consider proof let b lambda let b lambda be the adjoint of this adjoint of lambda i minus a matrix then the element of of b lambda then the element of b lambda are cofactors definitely it is or adjoint so element all elements are cofactor element of b lambda are cofactor of this matrix cofactor of lambda i minus a so b lambda is deter adjoint then its all element are cofactor of this so we can express this as a polynomial of degree not exceeding n minus 1 because our square matrix is n so that polynomial never exceed degree n minus 1 so we have to express b lambda is equal to b n minus 1 lambda n minus 1 plus b n minus 2 lambda of n minus 2 plus and so on plus b 1 lambda plus b 0 if we say this is our equation number 2 first one we give the equation of characteristics equation second one we give one polynomial with the help of that object adjoint which not exit the power n minus 1 terms now if we consider that bi is any n square matrix whose elements are function of the elements of a b is what adjoint so all elements are function of element a and independent of lambda and independent of lambda then we say that then we say that lambda i minus a into adjoint of lambda i minus a is equal to determinant of lambda i minus lambda i minus a i so if what is this this relation adjoint of lambda i minus a we consider this is b our b lambda our adjoint regarding this equation so now we substitute let us draw it so now we substitute this equation goes lambda i minus a 
This term gives B of lambda is equal to lambda I minus A of determinant. Now we have to substitute all the values of B lambda and this determinant both the side from equation 1 and 2 using equation 1 and 2. So with the help of 1 and 2 lambda I minus A and what is our B lambda? B lambda is B of N minus 1 lambda N minus 1 plus B of N minus 2 lambda N minus 2 sorry N minus 2 up to B1 lambda plus B0 means it have N minus 1 term it is equal to right hand side our determinant or we can say our characteristic equation characteristic equation is lambda N plus C N minus 1 lambda N minus 1 plus and so on plus C sorry C1 lambda plus C0 of I. So this is our new equation. We can say this is equation number 3. What we substitute from equation 1 and 2 from equation 2 we substitute value of B lambda from equation 1 we substitute the determinant of lambda I minus A. Now we have to equate both the side right hand side and equal even power like power terms. So now what next step we have to equate like power terms equating like power terms so when you equating first one is b n minus like this term so this gives lambda of b n minus 1 lambda of n into i and this gives so lambda is given by this so lambda first and this first. So this gives B N minus 1 equal to lambda N cancel out because we so I. Now goes for second N minus 1 term of lambda. When this A multiply with this. So this gives B N minus 1 lambda of N minus 1 into A. And there lambda of n minus 1 term is this and this this term is this term is n minus 1 and with this multiplied with this so lambda 1 multiplied here so plus b n minus 2 of lambda n minus 1 equal to this term c of n minus 1 i clear so these and this is negative so this term is negative. Similarly we can compare the higher term n minus 3, n minus 4. Then last two term when we compare the last two term then the result is B0 minus AB1 is equal to C1i and last one is minus of AB0 is equal to C0 of i. So these are the like power for right hand side and left hand side of lambda. Now next step what we can multiply both the side of the above matrix equation with a power of A. So what is next step? Multiply of both the side with power of first equation multiply with a to the power n, second multiply with a to the power n minus 1, third multiply with a to the power n minus 2, n minus 3 and so on. So when you multiply, you multiply your this equation becomes a n b n minus 1 equal to multiply both the side a n. Second equation becomes a n minus 1 b n minus 2 minus a of n because 1 a is already here b of n minus 2 gives c n minus 1 a of n minus 1 i and so on last a a b 0 minus a square b 1 is equal to c 1 a i and last one is minus a b 0 is equal to c 0 i. 
clear so these are the transformation we multiply each term with a a n a n minus 1 reducing power of a now we adding all above equation this plus this plus this plus this so when we see see this is a term next this term cancel with next all term of this left hand side will be cancel out and right hand side will be seems like that 0 equal to a n plus c n minus 1 a n minus 1 plus c n minus 2 a n minus 2 and plus plus c 1 a plus c 0 i so this is our what characteristic equation replace lambda with a so this is our kelly hamilton theorem that every square matrix satisfy its characteristic equation when we replace lambda with that matrix itself so now how to find out the inverse with the help of kelly hamilton theorem that i will explain with the help of example so you can easily understand how to find out the inverse first is we have to go one example verif verify the kelly hamilton theorem so for verifying kelly hamilton theorem we have one square matrix a is equal to 1 2 3 2 4 5 3 5 6 if we have to find out verify for this matrix kelly hamilton theorem so first step we have to find out uh, its characteristic equation characteristic equation is determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 when you find out its characteristic equation that comes lambda cube minus 11 of lambda square minus 4 of lambda plus 1 equal to 0 so now we have to prove that if we replace this lambda with a so a cube minus 11 a square minus 4 a plus i gives 0 means this side when we add all the things this side gives 0 so for this we have to find out a square a cube both the terms so first you know how to find out a square a square means multiplication of a into a 1 2 3 2 4 5 3 5 6 into 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 6 for when you multiply the matrix multiply matrix means first row multiply with this column gives first element first row multiply with this gives second so 1 1 1 2 3 4 3 3 just so 1 plus 4 plus 9 second gives this with this 2 8 15 2 plus 8 plus 15 third is this with this 3 plus 10 plus third element is 3 plus 10 plus 3 5 is a 5 3 is a 15 like that then similarly for second row second this row element first with first element second element third element, like that so i will directly write the a square value of a square and a cube so value of our a square is 14 25 31 25 45 36 31 56 and 70 and value of this is a square value of a cube is 157 283 353 283 510 633 353 636 363 and 793 so this is a cube this is a square now you have to substitute this all values in our characteristic equation is a cube minus 11 a square minus 4a plus of i so you have to substitute a cube here minus 11 into a square here minus 4 into a here plus i 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so 
you see when you substitute all here you have to apply all the elements then you will get result definitely equal to zero so this is verification of kelle hamilton theorem means right hand side equal to left hand side we already only the main thing you have to remember when you multiply a with a means you have to finding out a square or a cube you just concentrate on your elements and don't forget which element multiply with which so you have to find out a square and a cube if properly then your answer definitely comes zero next how to find out the a inverse determine the a inverse of a if our matrix is 4 6 6 1 3 2 minus 1 minus 4 minus 3 for verification we have to check with uh, our characteristics equation for if we don't want to verify we just want to find out find a inverse so find a inverse just find out the characteristics equation determinant of a minus lambda i equal to 0 when we find out its characteristic equation is lambda cube minus 4 lambda square minus lambda plus 4 equal to 0 so this is our characteristic replace with a so a cube minus 4 a square minus a plus 4 of i equal to 0 now we have to find out the A inverse. So A inverse for A inverse we have to multiply whole equation with A inverse. So when we multiply this, this becomes A square minus 4A minus A into A inverse is I minus plus 4A inverse equal to zero. So this terms gives our A inverse. So A inverse is equal to A inverse is equal to one by four of 1 by 4 of minus of a square plus of 4a plus of i. So you have to find out a square, a and i replace here, substitute here. You will get the solution. Your a inverse is coming 166 minus 162. 1 minus 10 and minus 6. So this is a inverse. A inverse is very easy. If you have characteristic equation, you just multiply whole equation with a inverse. The constant term gives the value of a inverse. So this is how to find out the a inverse with the help of Kelle-Hamilton theorem. That's all for Kelle-Hamilton proof and verifying and finding a inverse. Thank you very much.